strangers, and pilgrims. I think it has kind of a interesting tone to it, I think. Well, that's what our brother Simon Peter tells us. He says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims to abstain from fleshly lust that war against your soul. I thought it was an interesting greeting, and I, I asked myself, I said, well, exactly what is a pilgrim? Well, we know. I mean, we think about the pilgrims that came across the sea to America. But I went and I looked up a definition, and I found it interesting that in the dictionary that I read, it actually said it had to do with those who were seeking a, a sacred place, as pilgrims who are on a journey. But it also says this, any wonder or wayfare. Well, that immediately took me to the old song, you know. This old world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. You remember that old song? And it talks about how temporal life is and that we as people who populate this planet, we're just passing through. And for those who are uh, spiritual and understand spiritual things, we realize that once we're finished here, as the Apostle Paul used the, the words, we finish our course here on this earth, then then we'll step into another place that is glorious and grand, and we just keep on living. That is our blessed hope. And he also, using this word as strangers, I remember uh, years ago studying through the book of Genesis, and we came upon that word just halfway through the book of Genesis. All of a sudden, it referred to, it says, Abram the Hebrew. And I'm going, where did that come from? There's not been another reference up to that point in the book of Genesis that's calling the children of Israel Hebrews until you come to that passage. So I looked it up. I said, what does it mean? It says, stranger in the land. So Abram was a stranger in the land. So in essence, what Peter is saying is, hey, we are pilgrims and strangers in this land. We're just passing through. And you've heard the phrase, it said, to be in the world, but not of the world. That's us. That's Christians. We, we live in this world, but we don't take on the cloak of this world because we are different. That's why he called us peculiar people, <laughs> a royal priesthood. You stand out. You should stand out. Not because that you do things that necessarily desire, that you would desire to have yourself stand out, but just the fact that you live your life according to Scripture and you're led by the Holy Spirit to do good and right, to live your life separate as strangers and pilgrims in this land, abstaining from worldly lust, that war against your soul. And I find this to be true because there's always an adversary seeking whom he may pull away. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.